Nathan Shelters, thanks so much for catching up with me, mate. Now, my son's eyes lit up this morning when he saw that you had an Auskick program here, uh, and you were in the centre of it. Tell me a little bit about your role there. Yep, um, so last year, our senior coach, um, Will Bell, he started um, Auskick out here at Great Western. So we've got uh, an Auskick centre in our Ratton store, but we thought we'd um, try and start one here. Yep. So this year, we've um, lucky enough to rope in 37 uh, wow. boys and girls. So yeah, to go along with the under 12s and net set go, so it's it's excellent. We started under 12s uh, probably six or seven years ago. Yep. We got about 20 of those and to go with our 37 Oz kicks and we've got 15 um, net set go girls yep. as well as a junior netball. It's got about 120 kids playing junior football or netball for Great Western, which is excellent. What are you doing, do you think, here that's making people want to mm-hmm. want to bring their kids here? That They're obviously going off and they're talking about it and they're saying, you know what, Great Western's a great place to go and do Oz kick. What are you, what, what are we, what's going on here? Yeah, well, that, that's what we try to do. We uh, try to rope in as many senior players as we can. Uh, we have a, a hundred clubs, so 40 uh, past players and supporters put in $100 each year and that um, they donate. Uh, each kid gets a Great Western beanie and a oh, drink yeah. bottle. Yeah. So that's across Net Set Go and our, um, our Walls Kickers. So they love wearing the beanies. You'll see oh, yeah. plenty of them run around. And I think it's just the uh, the family atmosphere that we have here. We try and, uh, like we get the boys to, to line up on a, when the reserves run out and high five all the kids. And the kids oh, really enjoy yeah. that involvement with the, um, with the adults and, and really become sort of immersed in the football club. Season's over. G'day Gary, now you've been, uh, you've drawn the short straw today to yeah. come and have a bit of a chat to me on our footy story. Tell me a little bit about when you uh, when you retired from football, apparently there's a bit of a story to that. Yeah, that's right, um, played 200 games and I retired in 82 and they want to come back next year and I had too much work commitments, you wouldn't believe they wanted in 83. Uh, did, did you set them up for that for that uh, grand final? Oh, or? I must mean, you know what I mean. Got the built side for them, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's my story. I'll stick that one. So, when you were playing, who was some? Of, who was like the best player you reckon you played with? Who uh, you know really was a you know a real champion for Great Western? Oh, well, the coach, well, actually, um, my wife's brother Ray Oliver. He was very good. Yep, uh, Ray he, Oliver. Yep. yep. Come back, uh, Terry Brady. Which right. there's a guy who went down and had a few games with Fifth Roy. No, uh, Roy West. Roy he West. Played, played with Great Western, started here at Great Western, played at Stall and then went down and uh, played at Geelong. Okay. And played full back for Geelong. Uh, he, though Geelong won it in 63. He played played for Victoria. Okay, right. Yeah, full, full back for Victoria, so he could play football. One, two, three, four.